Hello guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Lay Sisters. Hope you enjoyed last recipe video of the chicken cashew stir fry. If you haven't watched it, we highly recommend that you do. We're including a link to that video in the description below. Before we get into today's video, we would like to remind you to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so you are notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make oxtail in the instant pot. This dish is delicious, flavorful, and hearty. It's perfect for colder weather and it can be made in advance. The ingredients that you will need to make this dish are one tray of oxtail, it usually comes with six to eight pieces, tomato paste, one medium onion, one bell pepper, beef broth or bone broth, minced garlic, adobo seasoning, crushed red pepper, oregano, salt and pepper to taste. Let's cook. We'll start with the pieces of oxtail that are already rinsed and dried. We will generously rub the adobo seasoning to the meat. In the Instant Pot, set to saute mode. Once the Instant Pot beeps, it gives an indication that it's already hot. Put in a little bit of oil and lay the oxtail in a single layer to start browning. We will brown for 3 minutes per side. If all the pieces don't fit, do it in 2 to 3 batches. Make sure you don't overcrowd the Instant Pot. It is very important to brown the meat because it gives the meat another layer of texture and seals in the flavor. Also, the caramelization will give flavor to the veggies that will be sautéing afterwards. Once the meat is done browning, set aside and add the onion to the instant pot. Make sure that pot is still in saute mode. After you add the onion, you add the minced garlic and stir to prevent the garlic from getting burnt. Next, we're adding the bell peppers. Now it's time to add the black pepper, oregano, and crushed red peppers mix. Once the onions are translucent, we will add the tomato paste and incorporate to the mixture. If there are any brown parts on the bottom of the pot, make sure you scrape them so we don't get the burn warning while the oxtails are cooking. Next, we're adding the bone broth and the brown oxtail.
Now that everything is in the pot, we're going to press cancel in the Instant Pot. We're going to cover the Instant Pot properly and make sure that it's turned to sealed. Now we're going to press the manual button. Make sure it indicates high pressure and we will set the timer for 45 minutes. Once the cooking time is complete, the Instant Pot will beep. We will let the Instant Pot depressurize on its own for 10 minutes. This will prevent the pressure from coming out too fast. After the 10 minutes have passed, you will turn on the vent to release the remaining pressure. Now you can open the Instant Pot and season with salt to taste and it's ready to serve. You will now notice that the meat is very tender and this is all accomplished in less than one hour. If you will cook it on the stove, it will take approximately two to three hours to get the meat this tender. I always like to add salt at the end because I find that you will get a better indication of how much salt is needed after the dish is done pressurizing. You may serve this over a bed of steamed white rice. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see other recipes in the Instant Pot, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye!